Blogging is an inexpensive and one of the most effective ways for small business to drive organic traffic to their site, attract customers and build trust. It helps to support business growth and it is one of the best things you can do for your business. And yet, why is blogging regularly is incredibly difficult. It is time consuming and it's hard work. It demands commitment and stamina. It necessitates the planning and organization, but most importantly, it requires tools to be effective. Blogly is this tool that can improve content creators' workflow and save time in content creation. After logging in, the very first page that I see is the articles page. On this page, I can create articles, I can import them, and I can enter the article to edit it. Uh, let me create the article first. If I click on the new, I can give a name. I can select the folder or I can leave the default selection for the content type and the status and I can click OK. Now I'm in the inside the article workspace. On the left side uh, outline which consists of the blocks and I will create the blocks in order to create article. Each article consists of the blocks. So if I can create the first block introduction, I'm inside the introduction block. Now, if I want to go back and enter another block, I can do that. So I can write just test block, click OK. Now inside the second block, I don't have to go back. I can do it from here. Select the test, um, I create the test block two and create the test block three now when i go back i have my outline here let me get the final outline uh, final block would be uh, conclusion now i created my outline now I can start writing the content. When I write the content, I need to enter the block. Let's say I'm going into introduction. In introduction, I have full rich text menu right here. I can start typing here and it will be just like any writing app. It will have full functionality of rich text editor. I can create the different uh, formats. I can do the headers. Uh, I can create bullets. I can color the text. I can embed, uh, insert the embedded frame or I can even paste the tables here. So when I write, I have the supporting side assets and I will explain about assets in details. The biggest difference of Blogly from other writing apps, it contains the full uh, asset functionality on the left. So everything required for the writing articles is here. There is a research, there are notes, there is library, uh, versions, and even paraphraser. So let's talk about the research. Research is something that I can find quickly information for the SERP data. We get the 100 SERP results for any search term. So providing here full name of the article here and the focus keyword here, we can get the SERP data for 100 search results. So let's do it right now. So you can see how it's being done. Now, once we have search results uh, showed up, you can see they are grouped here by 10. So in each so each group of 10 results are shown in one individual page. Each individual page is being analyzed automatically. First page is being done systematically and next page, when I go to the next page, you can see the button here is red. So when I click here, it will analyze it and bring in data too. So what does it do? It brings the data here, just like in a phrase, it brings the data for each, each uh, result inside the app. I could see the results from the each uh, SERP from each website. So when you open up, you could see the data here and you can just simply select in the individual paragraph, you can bring it to the right side. Simply selecting uh, paragraphs on the left side and moving them to the right, you build in the research doc.
Just quickly go over the research docs uh, and what is all about. I just show walk through through the small some functionality of that. So you can preview research doc. It will compile just like an article. You can build the blocks. Uh, you can export it as the shared link. Uh, you can communicate on the research doc. You can add uh, suggested questions that came up. You can add those questions and also you can have a statistics and you can add it also to research doc this is all related to the top 100 search results there is a, another section questions and ideas uh, you can add them to the right side and the keyword ideas and also you will have the popular questions uh, on the comments comments are basically built for communication from from outside parties uh, once you share the link and also there is a summary now, in article, research docs are being used to supplement the information and for better writing, for quality writing. So if you look on the left side, when the assets are open, when you open assets like that, you can see the two assigned uh, research docs here. And also you have a filter on the bottom. You can select and add some additional uh, research docs that you would like to see. Here, you can click on that. You can expand it. You can just preview the doc here or you can expand it in full and you can write the article uh, based on the research that you created. Now, the, for better writing, when you expand it into views, uh, when you work on the article uh, block, uh, you can just uh, simply move between uh, blocks like that and you can just view the information that you saved and it helps you to write uh, better content. Now, let's talk about the other uh, assets here. Notes. Notes are being used uh, also for better quality writing. So you can save a notes by simply clicking here. Uh, you can create the notes directly inside the article. And those notes are just to keep in the memory something or create uh, like a quick notes for the content that you can reuse. Also, you have a filter here on the bottom. On the filter, you can select previously saved notes. Notes also can be saved using the uh, extension that we provide. So Google Chrome extension, you can capture the information from any website and quickly store it in the notes. Uh, those notes uh, will be visible uh, through by simply using the filter here uh, by selecting all 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 uh, notes and using like a left side just like an Evernote you can find pretty much you anything you want let's say if I saved something related to uh, iframe I can just quickly filter it here I can see my embedded code or whatever I left I can just quickly copy it and move it and drag it and push paste it here this is the way I could quickly use the uh, use them notes also that I can actually take the full note and just copy it and paste it anywhere I want uh, just like that so it brings me the complete block uh, I mean block of a note now libraries libraries are not only for the images even though we do have the image full compression and conversion mechanism it converts into two uh, main primary image file JPEG and PNG there is also built-in compression mechanism so it's set by default at 70 percent and resizing at the 100 but you can actually convert anything without going anywhere on the websites don't look for any other tool quickly um, once you load the file here you can just set your conversion and it will uh, create and optimize the image on the spot you can bring you can keep your images on your own s3 folder and just simply provide us the link here or any other shared location you can use the uh, gifs so for gifs you can find something interesting uh, let's say if you want to find something for fun once you select it whatever you want to use you just select the, the gif and you just by clicking it here it will add the gif here and you can add it simply by just uh, doing like that uh, and you can edit it uh, quickly uh, here by setting up the uh, different uh, 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 pixels for the size and width so you can expand it any way you want also there is there are some pixabay integration that we have so in the pixabay you can find it it broken down by backgrounds people feelings whatever you can search by anything uh, so let's say if I search by office I will find something that related to office and if I want to bring the content here I can just simply select it and click OK it will add the 
content here and I can insert it to the right side so um, if I do that uh, I can preview the content if I do that I just need to do it like that and it paste it here now what are the versions versions are the actually exact copy of the block of the specific every specific block by clicking on save you can see it saves me exact copy of the block if I make changes here and let's say if I want to remove the, the whatever I posted here uh, I can just simply uh, remove it or make it changes and then I can just save it again so I have now two different versions I can edit the versions I can add my notes here on just put version 1 version 2 I can actually edit it here and just uh, click on OK I can quickly with one sh uh, one click I can replace the right side so this one is the very convenient way to, cr to work on email sequences or any other like on a copywriting for website copies when you create when you have some different ideas and you store the ideas in the different versions and the one you like you can use it at any time now paraphraser paraphraser is built to help the writer to come up with better sentences quickly now once the article is completed uh, we have the next flow is the SEO optimization going to SEO optimization uh, you would need to put the SEO title meta description you can select what the website you publish in the article to you provide the slug uh, you add the featured image if it's not added in the article and you come up with the alternative text go on to the next you set up your uh, keyword so you add in your keyword you provide in a group and you set your keyword for the article once you set the keyword the system will automatically goes out checks this keyword in article for every possible space there is a simple list we have all the technical optimization parameters are here and the scanning takes a split second so once this keyword is set just simply scan it you know exactly what the technical parameter is missing or completed green check marks are completed and the red one is not and it's providing the earned points for each parameter goal is here to get as maximum as possible is a hundred percent so this particular current article is optimized at 87 normally it takes about up to five minutes to complete optimization for any keyword for any article and the next step after optimization would be collaboration but that's reserved for the team members plagiarism if plagiarism is required plagiarism can be quickly scanned using the third-party provider next step would be publishing so when you're ready for publish uh, you can select the desired connected platform WordPress go to the next setting your website here uh, setting up the slug and selecting the published or draft date then clicking on a category that uh, required and setting the published date that's all you needed for that after that next step of verification you can add the related post from previously published you can add the or remove the social media sharing buttons on the bottom and then just click submit and your article is finally published within the next couple two three seconds you can see right now it went through the success messages showed up and i can just click ok and review this article in the wordpress now in this uh, quick short overview you understand how to create articles uh, how to manage your assets how to create quality content and how you can quickly edit uh, content seo optimize it uh, how you can run the plagiarism and also how you can publish it of course, uh, the core functionality of the Blogly is also the editorial calendar that you can plan and schedule your content. Also, we have the portfolios that helps you to display and showcase your talents, your work, your content, uh, showcase your uh, articles to your clients and sell the content on the marketplace that we have. Marketplace is pending at this moment.